know I'm that girl, they can't mess with me I'm not worried about your man, he's still trying to get next to me CM, you know they the gang, know what's up with me See me on the tube like it's a strive if you... What's up y'all, it's Khadija, welcome back to my channel So y'all, y'all know I got my favorite friend on my channel um, y'all already know London, so yeah. Make sure y'all follow London at London Cache. Is that how you say it? I just really want to know. Cache. It's Cache, so I'm just all wrong. But make sure y'all follow her on Instagram. Um, and y'all, today, um, I'm excited because, okay, y'all, I'm not really the cook. Like, I'm never, so if it looks like I'm just, like, going through the motions, learning, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't laugh at me, y'all. But, um, we just switching it up today, doing a different type of video. Um. Yeah, we're gonna be what we cooking for? We're cooking shrimp tacos with like peppers and shit and like you know, feel me like corn tortillas. Um I didn't I didn't go to grocery shop, I don't really got no food for real. But I know how to like put stuff together. Right, right. So we and I have uh some chicken wings that I've been thawing out for a few hours. I might fry those up for um them to take home because yeah, just to, you know, have a little lunch or something for tomorrow. But, um, and it's for me to get rid of that shit, too. So, yeah, we, we this is what we doing. We on our Kylie Jenner and Kanuchi shit. Y'all know that video where they made tacos um, on a YouTube video. And they got, like, what, 7 million views? We doing something like that. Make shrimp tacos. Shrimp tacos. And homemade fresh guacamole. Yummy. <laughs> you ready? Right now, we're just cutting up peppers and stuff, and I usually saute it in the pan with the, um, the shrimp, and those are going to be our, um, damn. Those are going to be like our base, and then um, I usually fry the corn tortillas and um, just make it really pretty. It's going to be good. Khadija, I didn't know Khadija didn't like shrimp. I wish I would have known, but we're going we gonna to make it work for me. Gonna make it work. It's gonna be good. She's gonna like it. And I might uh make rice to put on it too, because um I am a Caribbean girl. Like I have my rice and my carbs. Period. So yes, y'all we finna get this shit started. It's finna we finna get it rolling. Um my bad that I don't look up to par today because I'm just getting over a hangover. <laughs> Um, y'all she look fun. I mean y'all, I don't mind I don't mind shrimp, y'all. I just I had bad experiences with shrimp. So I just don't need like fucking with it. Cause I'm just trying to die, you know, eat the food and shit. Like I need to swallow um Are you allergic? The shells. No, I just don't know how to eat it. Like the ones that don't Nah, uh, okay, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have no uh shell. No shell. No shell. <laughs> That, so I'm gonna debate it. I'm gonna take all like the poop out, and we're gonna like eat it uh, sauteed with um, like butter. So yeah, I don't, I, I don't have a problem with that as long well. as you know the shells be off the shit. I don't I don't be minding, but I ain't eat no no shrimp with the shells on where I gotta peel it off because I'm not. But um, y'all, this a this a London this a London meal that I'm excited to actually taste. I'm excited too. And um so we gonna we gonna see. Um yeah, we so we just gonna be chit chatting. Um well first of all, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at SK um before anything. But y'all, today video y'all, we're just gonna be cooking and talking. And yeah, so we're gonna start by talking, um we're gonna start by talking about school, y'all. And we're gonna talk about school, y'all, because one thing about school I feel like um, we both 21, um, so it's just like, we, we not too far from just leaving school, so it's just like, you know, we still got those memories. And oh, and you gotta tell them what we doing later this month, where we're going. Oh yeah, we are going on the trip, y'all. But I'm not gonna tell y'all where we going. I'm not gonna tell y'all. She, she probably wanted to tell y'all, but I ain't gonna tell y'all. I do, but don't tell them just yet, that makes sense. We gonna, we gonna tell y'all when we go. Yes. Oh, our house, y'all, is bomb. Like, the, it's next level, for real. We, we're gonna have a time. Y'all, my friend trying to have me out to act. <laughs> Cause, girl, we're gonna have so much fun. So, this is gonna be my first road trip. 
Well, not road trip. It's gonna be my first travel trip with my dad. I'm gonna tell y'all that. Um, I'm excited to see y'all. I know I ain't got no friends. So. Yes. And today we are basically just gonna talk about uh, high school and get more into depth on like um, how and where we met. Because me and Khadija went to um, two of the same high schools and stuff. Yep. And um, I'm just going to get in, into that and like how we became friends. So um, we graduated in what, 2021? 2020. 2020. Oh my God. 2020. 2020. We graduated in 2020, y'all. And um, we went into high school in what, 2016. Uh, or 17. But, um, right. I, the middle school I graduated from was uh, a Chesterfield school. Um, so I went to, uh, what school did I go to? So in Richmond, we have counties. So I was coming from the county. I went to, uh, uh, hey, what school you graduated from? Uh, which one? Middle school? No, high school. You got it. You can know. Yeah. You can know. Where was your graduation? I see we, okay, so what's your last name? Morgan. All right, so I was with the R's. Because remember, we graduated in like. Yeah. We graduated like that. So we graduated by like last name and stuff like that. So we didn't really get to see our class because of the pandemic. But yeah, we graduated from the same high school and we went to two of the same high schools. Um, 16. So, uh, September 2016, we went to um, the same school, um, which is with George Wolf. And Khadija um, was popular. Khadija was popular and she used to cheer. I guess if she wanted to say that. And I was like the new girl because I hadn't been in city schools in dumb long. And um, y'all, she was like the prettiest girl. In so, so no shade, no shade. So, no shade. No shade. Um, no shade. so, um, hold on, what, what was that? What was that? So, they told me the the school that I wanted to go to, y'all. Like they told me since they was rezoning or whatever that I couldn't go, which was Huguenot. So my house was newly built or whatever on that side of town, but it was like directly across the street from like, like. I can't explain it, like, from a, diff a different district, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. So, mm -hmm. I wanted to go so bad. Um, show, them your, show, them, show them my credit I wanted to go so bad. Don't laugh at my shit, man. That's actually really good. Because I'm, I'm, like, really, like, you know, trying to do my thing, y'all. This, this is all I got so far. Now we debating the shrimp and stuff and Khadija is still cutting the peppers and stuff. Um, so. I am. Come on, pick it up a little bit. So, um, yes, y'all. Um, oh, so I was new. I was new in, honestly, like, with or whatever, like, dead ass. I always tell this story, like, when I first walked into with, like, with, I don't know if y'all ever seen that movie, Lean On Me. Up with um, Morgan Freeman in it, like the old man, like with the badass kids, like he basically try to come into the school and like change, change the narrative in the school or whatever. Like, all right, people, let's settle down in here now. Settle down, quiet down. Let those who are trying to eat their lunch digest. Robert, boy, get out of here. You had lunch at four period. Go on. Then it's like I walked in with and was crying because Whiff is known as like one of those ratchet ass schools. Like that's the stigma that it has in our city. So I'm like, bro, I gotta go to this fucking school, bro. Like, I don't have time, bro. Like that like I was just over it, bro. Like that shit blew I had the mind. same reaction though. I was like, what the fuck am I doing at this school? And not to not thinking that I was better because I'm a very like humble girl. But it was more so of like, bro, these kids, like, they probably gonna fuck with me. Like, they probably gonna try to fight me for nothing. Like, I probably mm -hmm. gonna have to use the fucking bathroom and then somebody um, just randomly, you know. But I prejudged it. 
and I'll get to the point of with actually being one of the best experiences um, ever when it ended, you know, because I feel like I became a more well-rounded individual because of what it's like. I really got to truly have more empathy for people because mm -hmm. it really is, yep, right? Yeah. It really is That's on true. like a low-income area. So like a lot of the people that I grew to love and be friends with or whatever the case may be, like they didn't have much. They were very less fortunate, but I got to see like how people reacted during the holiday season. Like I got really close with my with my friends. Like this is excluding Khadija. I got really close with my friends and I got a better idea of like what they go through at home and the stories from my friends and because like a lot of them are in jail now and things like that or uh, really going through things like some of them have kids and things like that and we be talking you know be saying how they wish they would have waited and things like that like people be going through a lot at home when like you're coming up and shit like that so it was just good for me to experience but back to the first day so yes the first day I cried um, Miss Green was the principal at the time, so she just was telling me, like, don't be crying, like, it's not that bad. And literally, by the end of the first day of school, like, I ended up loving it. Um, I've seen Khadija on the first day, or whatever, um, but we didn't, we didn't talk, we didn't, we didn't know each other, um, because I was just so sad to talk to people, like, literally, like, I dreaded lunchtime. Wait, we did, because we had the same class. We had the same class. Oh, had um, Mr. Uh, what's his name? We had his crazy ass. Wa we had Walter, his Walter, Walter, Mr. Me. Yes, something like that. Like, oh. we, we had him, and that nigga oh, was yeah, crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. I'm going to say, girl, you knew me on the first day. Yes. Yeah, yeah nah, she did, because we did know each other. Yes, and Khadija, yeah, Khadija was popular. Khadija used to cheer and shit like that, but. I don't know about all that, y'all. I don't know why she was saying that. You were popular, bro. I don't think so, though. But I mean, you were very popular. I I didn't think so. I mean, I, I don't know exactly you was. <laughs> See how y'all can like have a bitch with other people? Like I was just like, oh no, she. I ain't gonna lie. This is my first impression. Like I thought she was so cute. I was like, hell no. I'm like, she got like these teacher daughters or something. Like that's how cute she was compared to like the school or like what was going on in school. Yeah, like, I gotta go to school to go to school. So I just like, nah, I ain't, I ain't finna talk to her cause this my miss judge me, y'all. I'm not finna talk to her cause she, she just seemed like she like gonna be bougie or she not gonna wanna talk to me. Or you know what I'm saying, type stuff like that. Y'all know how some people do. Not even knowing I'm going like, down to earth. Like, that just was not the case at all, y'all. It just wasn't the case. That shit. She, that was like my first impression. Though. She misjudged me or whatever. But nah, yeah. I was quiet the whole way uh, or whatever. I had a little boo there or whatever. Really? So, yes. Was he in our class? He he was in my class, but not not like that class. Um, they wanted to be a boo in that class. We had a lot of we had a lot of we was the only, only girl. girl. Yeah, so that class was so weird, y'all. Yes, <laughs> like, like everybody was the fucking try to talk to like either me or her because it was literally yes. only it was literally the only two girls. Until the girl from Brooklyn came and then your, your uh, best friend started talking to her. See, she keeps talking about that. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember that. Yes, I remember. So oh, I actually ended up really loved it with. Um, I didn't really go through nothing there or whatever the case may be. It was um, so chill. It was very chill. Like teachers really did not give a fuck. Like, yo, know, it was the point where you could just like go in the class. I they didn't give a fuck. Whiff was yeah. giving out grades, good I grades, left people. and right. All you had to do was give a kid. Yeah, they don't do work, y'all. But they all right. Good. So I'm, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell. Oh, this, this is what it is. This, this is mm -hmm. what it is. Tell me. And Whiff. As everybody had an ish, like a problem, like not even like mentally, it was more so of like what the fuck they said out their mouth. Like the kids were so fucking bad, bro. Like all my classes was like this. Like every single class in was like this. The kids were so fucking bad, bro, to the point where they would literally like just plead with you to like not just say nothing. And if you do, 
your work and you be quiet and you don't give them hell, you would get a good grade. So I stayed with straight A's and with like stayed. And really, it wasn't really a challenge really because they didn't really give hard work, honestly. But um, it'll be like like my, my history teacher will try to challenge us really hard, you know, on like black history. And, or math. And, and I math. Like math was hard. Math was really hard. I, I thought like math was OD. And we yeah. had mean math teachers too. Right. But you know, some people had that one lady where she was like the soccer team coach. Yes. And I feel like they were saying in her class she was more chill. I I, I okay. didn't have no luck, bro. Yeah. I right. like when it came to stuff like that, I didn't have no luck either. I feel like I had straight teachers that always was like focused on the work for some reason. Like mm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else happened? Uh damn. Yeah, we really just told y'all like how the teachers were students there was a lot of shit like literally like we didn't get into anything but it was hard not to see crazy stuff because again like most of the people that we had classes with they had like like adhd or uh like some sort of like thing where they just had to fuck up for attention like be a class clown fight all the time like i don't know i fell in love with a lot of my uh the, the ghetto girls, yeah. Like, I just love their demeanor. Who like, ghetto girls? Like, that. We had a lot. Everybody was ghetto and shit. That's what I'm like. What ghetto girls? But, but, like but, was, yeah. Yes, everybody was ghetto and shit. And I love that shit so bad. Like, no, I feel you. Because when, when I was thinking about y'all, it just was not. I couldn't find no. I don't know, I just switched the whole school, y'all, I'm sorry. It's just, y'all just don't know, like, when I left with, I was so upset, y'all. Because then I went to Meadowbrook, and then I went to Huguenot, and I went to Huguenot. And it just was the worst experience after my very late. Yeah. It literally was. Like, and, and I only feel that way because, y'all, I felt like Monday, probably. Exactly, when I was in Meadowbrook, y'all, um, my second grade year, I felt like Monday said how she felt when she came into school and she felt like she was the new girl. I was literally the new girl in school. And then I just came from Will. So that's crazy when you're coming from like a public school that's like really ghetto to like a county school that is not like, well, they kind of say Melbourne is ghetto, but it's different levels I feel to ghetto. It's like, more so like county bitches, mm -hmm. like. Like one of the like, or you got the bitches that they mom moved to Chesterfield. And one thing about it, if you was a city bitch and your mom got a little money, your parents got a little money, you definitely went to Meadowbrook. Or mm -hmm. if she got money, 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 like she bought her house money, then you went to like LC Bird, or Manchester, Manchester, Mon Mon Monacan. No, I can't say the name. But Meadowbrook was like a oh, star because it's technically still Southside. Like it's really down the street from Southside. So mm -hmm. you you had a chance of going or living near JD, and JD is in Southside. So and and some of the kids that went to Whiff lived on JD too. Like I, I don't get Whiff. Whiff was like so fucking big and plentiful. With who they went to go get? Um, as students and shit like that, like on the buses and shit like that, like the routes was insane. Like, I remember one time I caught the wrong bus, my ass was like 15 minutes away from home. Like, they used to go on the other side of town and pick up kids. Like, I don't know, it really felt like a, a fucking crab barrel fucking school. Like, because I, I knew what it was. Like, that school, literally, watch Lean on Me, y'all. Like, <laughs> That's literally what it, it what it's like. Like badass kids that need guidance and like love, real shit. Like in the ghetto school that got talent. Like yes, it's bro. weird because it was so many talented like people in there. Like them, yes. like I feel like those dudes, those girls, like them girls that cheer. And I ain't gonna lie, they had a little talent. Like they were creative for a little bit. A lot of them was creative. Yes. Um. And the dudes that play basketball, they were dedicated. Like, you could tell dedication. Like, they really care for the game. Like, even just, like, oh, no, we plan for our school. Like, they plan for their school for a reason. Like, we got a, a point to prove. Right. So, yeah, I feel like whip is always on top, period. Even though I graduated from you, I don't yeah. care. I Probably love my whip friends. I ain't yeah. gonna hold you. They, they still I, I love shit to this day. Um, problems and all. Like, them some funny bitches. Like, for real. And they the realest niggas too. Like the niggas is like one of the realest type of niggas that I've met. Like I fuck with them heavy. 
So kudos to Wiff. My my uh, era there was very short lived because I went to Huguenot. So when I went to Huguenot, <laughs> woo! When I went to Huguenot, hey. Yeah, we gotta get to Huguenot, y'all. Huguenot, man. Huguenot, shit. I'm gonna let you tell her about her experience. I didn't want to talk in there, y'all. I didn't talk. Like, I just let people come talk to me. And I'll talk back. You know what I'm saying? Or if it's somebody that was like my cousin, you know what I'm saying? I'll talk to her, obviously. But yeah. it, I never, I'm not trying to be funny, y'all. I never wanted to talk to anybody in here because I felt like. Everybody already had their own friends too. Like I'm never the type of person that's talking. Yes, like, that's everybody had their own friends. That's so it's like I never wanted to like invade nobody's friendships. And then I also noticed another thing that the people that they weren't friends with, they had beef with. And I noticed that amongst everybody had beef at with, bro. Yeah. So, so at whip is different. No, but not with, with. I mean, damn. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, but at whip, I feel like everybody can have beef. I'm joking. Do you feel like at Whip everybody had beef? I don't think so. No, I, I don't I feel, feel like everybody like, had Whip. I feel like literally, like, li this is how it is. Like, dead ass, like, people will wake up on shit at Whip, like, and fight each other, and it, like, that's it. Like, yeah. Like, it wasn't no ongoing beef. Like, they gonna beat your ass, you gonna take that, that one, or you gonna keep beefing or y'all gonna keep fighting it out like one thing about with bitches they address it. and handle it outside thing, of school yeah like they're it just going to be dragged address that shit like, that's the only thing about you now i feel like the beef that they had in school they drag it still in bitch. school so yeah but um he and i was not all bad he and i was kind of good it, it's i don't know it's a uh, thing in the middle for me like it was yes. like bad and good yes so that's that's truly how I felt like it. like sorry y'all I just went to went to see my text messages but I don't know like with bitches though like that would be show I have to y'all just look if you still feeling a little way about it y'all gonna keep fighting but one thing about it is always addressed in the classroom out the classroom like by the teacher talking like it's gonna get addressed like, so at with like that's the school that I would categorize like your your sexy reds, like real bitches, like You can't even fight you can't get that nigga nothing and I think it's that ass bitch Show me how you fuck up baby dad Lord Love me or love bitch Like with Yeah hands down like that was that was that was my shit like that Fighting. You gonna keep fighting. They tried to they tried to bank me at you and that y'all. Yes, bro. Tenth grade. A bunch of bitches. Okay, so we're gonna get into that. That's T, y'all. That's T. That's, that's T, because that's my very first fight and my only fight and I won. So we're gonna get into that. So I like ninth grade or whatever, I came late in the year or whatever the case may be, because I'm with so I basically came like spring, summertime. Have no real friends or whatever the case may be because I didn't want any friends. Um, everybody was just geared at you not or whatever the case may be. So I pretty much did my work and talked to the people that I knew from like middle school that went there or elementary school. That's who I felt most comfortable with. With and um, um, tenth grade I had a little a little uh, friend group. Like, I was starting to open up and engage more, and it was probably, like, four of us. And, like, one thing about me, like, I'm always going to speak my mind. I'm, like, I may look timid, and I may look like I'm not on anything, but I'm going to speak my mind. So, it was a time where in our friend group, two of the two of the girls in the friend group were talking to the same nigga, or whatever the case may be. And one was being sneaky about it. And the other was just being like, I'm still fuck with him, like type shit. So I was never messy when it came to it. I actually found out pretty late. Um, and I'm also one to communicate and things like that. Um, but a lot of people aren't like, people just don't know how to truly like be real. So, um, it was a lot of animosity that I have found out about about later with those two. Um, those two basically um, 
said it, they weren't gonna be friends anymore or whatever they were, because they was talking to the same nigga, they was talking to the same nigga or whatever. So I'm like, y'all really gonna let uh, a nigga come in between like a, a good friendship? Like all four of us gonna be split because y'all bitches wanna fight over a dirty nigga. And that's one thing I was big on. I did not fuck with niggas. If I fucked with a nigga, he was probably older and won't even in school. If I was, if I was in school, I was going to do that. And until, like, my senior year, so. Um, but, yeah, nevertheless, I'm like, we all friends. Like, what have y'all beefed for? So, things escalated um, between them. And I... They wouldn't fight though. Like they all fight. like for the life of me, they wouldn't fight. They just would throw a little sneak sneaky shit and stuff like that. And I me and my other friend always felt like we was in the middle or whatever case may be. But then my other friend started um switching sides. Like she started picking sides. Like she started being funny to my um my other homegirl. Um I was hearing through the grapevine that um they was really like beefing, like ready to fight type shit. And the, the other homegirl, whatever the case may be, I already knew, like off rip, she's real timid and don't speak her mind and really didn't fight at that time. Right. So I pretty much spoke up and was like, look, ain't nobody gonna be nobody, ain't nobody gonna fight nobody and like this is not what we're doing. Like, y'all are weird. So, um, instead of like, us all being adults about the whole situation and like agreeing like this shit is pointless over a nigga. Well, these bitches, two of these bitches started like being being besties and like forgetting about the other two because they and they feel it's about to be. So I'm like, not these bitches trying to like come against like me because I said what I said. Like I said it's childish, it's dumb. So I'm a wee wee Kansas too. So, um, we about to season the shirt, y'all. So, um, I told y'all I'm paying attention, y'all. So, y'all, it come, you got. So, yes, I'm seasoning it with all this shit. Let me get the water. We're gonna season it with all this okay, shit. But it's not gonna be salty or anything, because a lot of this stuff is salt free. So, um, okay. And Khadija's gonna pour the olive oil in the, in the thing. There you go. So I was like, um, so how much do you pour? Have me, I don't, however much you want. Okay. So um, could be damn. I was about to say could be just, um. So after that, it just was like animosity. Like they was just being weird. Is that enough? Pour more. Okay. It was just being weird or whatever the case may be. And one day I stopped. I came into the class or whatever, and bitches started making jokes. Like I don't know. I I can't forget what the joke was, but. Everybody was laughing, and I asked bitches to repeat Girl, it. how you gonna assume the joke was about you? The joke, it was, it was animosity. Like, it was literally both of the bitches like doing that whisper shit, mm -hmm. and I wasn't feeling that. Like, I, I was right, I was right exactly on, you know, okay. how I was thinking. I gotta ask y'all, cause y'all know that's how I used, I be like, I be no. assuming everything be about no. me. And shit, and don't really be knowing. But yeah. I be knowing. Bitches be talking shit. Dead ass, yeah. like, I'm not that type of person that's gonna assume because, for one, like, y'all was my homegirls. Like, why would I ever wanna, like, fuck up what we got going on because, like, Nick, like, it's ultimately over a nigga. I knew that. They weren't mature enough to grasp that. They just think about a dick. Mm -hmm. Like, that shit is insane. So, um, they had made a little, a little joke, a little snickering or, or something. So I, I'm angry at this point. I'm like, okay, and I want to hear about it too. Like everybody else laughing about it. Like I want to hear it too. So this onion powder. <laughs> I'm like, I want to hear about it too. So they like, what? What are you talking about? Typical shit bitches do. They don't want to repeat what the fuck they say. Um, that's onion and garlic powder that I put in there. They don't want to repeat anything that they fucking say, bro. Like nothing, and they make you feel like you crazy for what you just like heard and or like witnessed. So this is salmon seasoning, so it's basically like fish seasoning. Um, so I'm like repeat it. So they act like they don't fucking hear me, and um, everybody thinking that shit was funny. So um, 
I forget, like, my mouth was slick. Like, I wasn't really playing, y'all. Like, I was not coming to play at all. And, um, my other homegirl, she was, she's very timid. So, she was like, um, London, like, don't, don't say anything. I'm like, no, because these bitches, like, they act like we weren't just all friends type shit. So, um, yeah, we ended up having words for each other in which my teacher kicked me out because he said I was the aggressor and I had to go to what detention or some shit because of it and um went to detention or whatever the case may be um shit was ass came back was hearing shit through the grapevines that these bitches was popping shit like they they got me out the class on some bad girls pub shit um and then one day, um, I had came back to the class or whatever the case may be, and um, he basically um, was on that same shit, like thinking they could bully bitches and shit like that. And the other girl, like my other home girl, again, she's timid, so with her, it was more so of um, she didn't want to like battle with them by herself type shit. So uh, when I came back, I was the only one. Which I was fine with, or whatever the case may be. But, um, what happened? Um, we ended up beefing real bad. And, um, I almost had fought that day that I came back from, like, the detention or whatever the case may be. But our teacher was holding us back. So, we didn't fight that day. So, the next day comes. It was shit going on. Y'all hear that sound? I put a lot of seasons in here. Wow. Oh, wow. It's like macaroni. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You know um, she did. She even stopped telling y'all what season she put in there. I don't know. I put all these seasons in there. I don't know, y'all. So. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, the main girl um, was, was talking shit or whatever. They was getting more people to follow this hate train with me and doing weird shit. And mind you, these was the bitches that was telling me, oh, Wendy, you're so pretty. You could try something to um, You're this, you're that, or whatever the case may be. Like, those type of bitches. <laughs> and that was my first ever friend group. And I swear to God, y'all, I've never done it ever again. I only do individual friends because of that. And, um... I got suspended because I beat the shit out of her. And yeah, that's what that is. I beat the shit out of her. And if y'all wanna know like who was really there and who seen it, um, our administrative seen it on the cameras. Um, remember that dude Jalen that um, used to do, be like in charge of like photography and media? Oh and yeah. Was, he broke it up. So he lifted me off of her type shit. Damn. I remember him. That's crazy. I remember him. Y'all can ask Jalen. He was um, so active though. So. Yes. Y'all can ask Jalen or whatever case you be. Jalen was there. Jalen um, got me off of Y'all know we in the kitchen. And I got suspended for like two weeks because the girl told her mom and you can press charges. So um, that's what they were trying to do. But of course charges didn't stick or whatever because it be because it was like I was defending myself. I was about to get jumped. Everybody in the school knew but me. It was trying to get me on the lower level at the gym or whatever the case may be to try to like hurt me. And my brother had got wind of it and literally went the fuck oh, yeah, off. Like, didn't go there. Yeah. And if you know anything about my brother, that was a hothead. And he literally fought security about me that day like not playing with his sister and that's one thing about it like he loves his sister so there's that um so yeah you end up getting a fight and you know fight two bitches because bitches don't know how to keep that hate in their heart down so yeah i think i kind of remember that thing you do i kind of yeah yeah from like the little details not as a full story, but the little details. Yeah. People probably don't even know the full story. Because even with that being said and everything like that, I still was a quiet girl. I just had like a low-key friend group. And the drama, the nigga was popular or whatever the case may be. But like the friend group was not. We was like, no. But um, everybody wants to tune in when there's drama involved. So, uh-huh. 
They just got a show. You know what's so crazy? They talked the most shit and ended up going to the fucking store. So what is this? Because I always see this in the store, but I've never, like, you know. Okay, so this is ginger paste and Thai paste. It makes it taste really, really good. It gives it that, that sweet aroma um, that it needs from like all like the salt and like the cumin and like the paprika. So yes. And we just gonna turn this drone on. I don't know if we should turn it on just yet or I should just make the rice first. But maybe we should, maybe we should, maybe we should. So I'm gonna let you put the butter in the pan and shit like that. Cause, but yes, y'all, I don't wanna talk too deep about that. It is what it is. Like, I want so. <laughs> She went, y'all. I should have put you somewhere where no one can find you. Mansion out in sticks with nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. I know, I know. You got desires. You got that fire. And I'm not a liar. You had me down on my knees every time I had to talk beside you. I'm in that 80 and one of the twists. It's a prior. I try to pay all your loans off and copy your job. I had to stand too close to the city, you acting too vulnerable living this life I said I'm walk your way through this before I copy all this ice You wanna be my number one, you're not hanging like the main thing I let you play my number two, you barely made the second change I put you somewhere where no one can find you Mansion out in the sticks with nothing around you Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know a different environment You got desires, I know Self-control is never been a thing Don't think it'll help if there's a ring with a rod Where I'm from, they serve the soul to clean You come from a city where there's lean with the rod How the fuck you keep so many seeds? How you going to be getting pushed to be filled How the fuck you see so many beats? Tickets to them places don't go cheap I see it back in church, remember we took it at first Got back on shit, I had to tell you go get it I'm always moving too fast, the feeling don't last I feel like you're taking for granted Probably my fault for the way that I handle it I should've put you somewhere where no one can find you Passion out in the sticks with nothing around you I'm about to make rice and yeah We about to eat in like a few, like 20 minutes or less So yeah and Yeah, Nisha, take the floor Um, let me see an interesting story about I'm trying to think, yeah. Because I re used to really do shit in school. Like, I've never had a, oh, no. See, I had one situation in school, y'all. I didn't really want a situation. So it's like half of my situation really want a situation. But I feel like nobody ever wants to fight me, like, at school. Like, in school. Like, nobody really had a, ever had a problem with me like that. I had one problem with one girl. And they really want a problem because, well, I guess it is a problem because she wanted to fight me in school. She didn't want to fight outside of school. I hate people like that. I'm not, I'm not entertaining you right now. Try a little London meal. No, try it. You gotta try it. Okay, yeah. So, London does make it my place. She didn't make me play yet. So, I'm gonna try it. Let's test taste. So, yeah, I'm gonna give her a little number one out of 10. Mm. Mm. 
what do you need? More sugar? That was good. Okay. I'm good, sure. You no, know, I'm good. This is good. You like it? I like it. Okay. I give it I give it a nine. Nine point five. Okay. What it what does it need? Onions. The onions. The uh, onions. Okay, I'm gonna do the onions, yeah. The onions are Say you adore me